that healthcare bombshell, President Trump taking steps on his own to dismantle Obamacare after Republicans in Congress could not get a repeal. First signing an executive order yesterday, then the president making a midnight move overnight, cutting off billions in insurance subsidies that help many working class Americans who make too much to be covered by Medicaid, but too little to cover their own health care. Here's ABC's Mary Bruce. Tonight, President Trump is vowing to rip apart Obamacare piece by piece. One by one, it's going to come down and we're going to have great health care in our country. We are going to have great health care. Late our last country. night, he dropped a bombshell, cutting off $7 billion in subsidies that help lower income Americans afford coverage. The White House calling those payments unlawful. Hanging in the balance tonight, the roughly 7 million Americans who make too much to qualify for Medicaid but still need help paying for coverage. Americans like Marcy Shelton, a retiree in Nevada who leans on these subsidies to afford her coverage. If it gets too high, I'm afraid that I'm just not going to be able to afford it at all, and that's terrifying. In Iowa, programmer Mason McCoy says he can barely afford the subsidized plan he has now. It's nothing more than another assault on poor people. The Congressional Budget Office says premiums for some could climb by up to 20 percent and predicts many Americans will likely lose coverage. After the president and Republicans in Congress could not find a way to repeal Obamacare, now the president is out to do it on his own. In the last 24 hours, signing an executive order paving the way for insurers to offer plans that cost less but cover less, too. People will have great, great health care. Tonight, Democrats say this isn't great care, it's sabotage. Make no mistake, last night the president single-handedly decided to raise America's health premiums for no reason except spite and cruelty. But the president says Obamacare is a broken mess. What would be nice if the Democratic leaders could come over to the White House, we'll negotiate some deal that's good for everybody. That's what I'd like. But many Republicans tonight already fear the political consequences. And we will, in fact, own this problem. The, the president's action today was unhelpful. And Mary Bruce with us live tonight from Capitol Hill. And Mary, we also heard today from Ohio's governor, Republican John Kasich, who, of course, ran against Donald Trump during the Republican primary, but no less a harsh warning from him tonight. David, he says this move by the president will lead to confusion and higher health costs. Now, here on the Hill, there is a bipartisan effort to replace these subsidies. The big question tonight, can they come to an agreement and how soon? David. Mary Bruce set her post on the Hill for us again tonight. Thanks, Mary.